why we go through difficulties, why we go through hardships, is we're being tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're being tested by Allah. And this trains us and it disciplines us. And everything that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because if, if it's good at all times, is it really a test? It's always good. You go out and you buy a new car every two, three months. Huh? Bentley today, Rolls next month, Ferrari, you change it up. It doesn't become really a test for you. But when you go through difficulties, that tests your faith. When, it, when the problem comes, is what they say, a rida, to be pleased with it. When something happens, a calamity ha happens, calamity strikes, the highest form is the rida, to be pleased with it. Then next you have to have sabr, and then obviously we have to have sabr. I'm going to tell you a story that happened to some uh, a brother in Saudi Arabia. As you know, if you've been to Saudi Arabia, they have big families. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Huh? How many kids do they have each family? Eight, ten, it's normal. So eight, ten children, mashallah. So this brother in particular, he had like uh, four or five daughters and five sons. And his wife. They're driving down the road, obviously had two cars. And they put his son in, in, they were in the pickup truck in front of him. As they're driving, they were going through an intersection on, on the way. Uh, a big tractor trailer, semi truck, comes flying through the intersection, doesn't stop. Hits his sons in front of his eyes. Totally destroys the car, there's nothing left. Just to completely totaled. When you see the car, he said, I knew immediately all of his sons, all five of them, had just died in front of his eyes. What did he do? So the brother stopped on the side of the road, time of patience, went out and he made shudud shukr. Being thankful. Not because he's happy his son's that happy, he's, he's devastated. But he's happy with the Because there's nothing, you, can, you can't change it. They're gone, they're gone. So he said, he knows this is a super test. So he said, the best way for me to get a reward for this now is to put my head down and say, Alhamdulillah, what you've chosen for me, Allah, I'm happy for it. Even though I'm hurt. Because it's natural. The Prophet said, he, he cried when his, when, his, when his son died. And the people were surprised. He said, this is something Allah puts in the heart of the believer. something normal. But Alhamdulillah, we have to be say what Allah SWT has chosen for us. If you guys heard the story of our brother recently, um, the doctor, um, Tawfiq, who was, his, his children were burnt in the house and his wife was burnt in this mistaken identity case. Tragic. But if you heard him talk, and things, he, he's not a lecturer, he doesn't, he's never talked before. This is the first time he's ever talked because he had to talk. Even I was listening to it because we had a, a problem in our masjid in Ireland where I was in the center. Uh, the, the same talk show, we were on there and he was on there before us. And so I'm listening to the guy and I was like, Whew. The non-Muslims are calling in like, you know, this, what type of uh, belief is this? And he said, you know, this is our belief. Uh, if something happens, so we say, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi And he started to explain it really, really deep. So the guy lost his wife and his three children. All, all, it's all gone, just like that. So like, and if you guys remind me later, I have some pictures on my, on my phone. I, I met him in a conference in Dublin about the re revival of the Quran. He showed me from the miracles, subhanAllah, the house was burnt down. The masahif of his two sons, and his wife's Quran were not touched by the fire. And it's, 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 it's amazing. I have the pictures of my actually, so you can smell the burnt, there's a little, few little burnt marks here and there. But you, can, you can smell it, you can see it. So I took some pictures of it, it's absolutely amazing, subhanAllah. So the thing is, is that, I and mean, what, what can you do to change that? That's a high level of Iman. But when you realize that everything comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how does it affect you? Because the difficulties we go through in life, life is difficult, you're here to be tested. Life is not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be a walk in the park. Everything's gonna be easy, everything. You just go in the, in, the, in the school, you don't study, you get all A stars, mashallah, tabarakallah. You get the best job, you have the best car, the best wives, all of this, mashallah. You get all, all this good from the dunya. It's not gonna, it doesn't happen like that, it's difficult. You're gonna be tested, you're gonna go through difficulty. But when you know everything is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you say, Alhamdulillah. When the non Muslims, when something bad happens, what do they do? They look up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they say, Why me? Why are you doing this to me? Audhu billah, Muslim is, there's no way we could do this. It's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah. We never know where the good is. So this type of iman has a big effect because a lot of the things when we're talking about purifying the soul, it's not just about dhikr and reading the Quran and salat and hajj and siyam and all this and everything's gonna be, it's gonna be grand. No, you're gonna go through some difficulties. A lot of the problems, we, we, it comes between us and purifying the soul, it's emotional stress. The, life, the, the stress of day life that we're going through, we don't know how to deal with it. When you, when you get down your iman with the qadr, you get it down properly, alhamdulillah, it makes it all easy.
Please don't forget to like us and share us on the Digital Member Facebook and Twitter. Please also subscribe to the Digital Member YouTube channel in the links below.